Imagine this. A man walks holding a black briefcase. It opens and papers begin to blow out. The shadow of the letter G floats over this. And this. And this. this. What's up guys? I'm Trisha Hirschberger and you are watching Take My Money. And if that opening is at all familiar to you, that means you haven't entirely blocked out R.L. Stein's goosebumps from your mind. While personally preferring his Fear Street books, there's no denying that the Goosebumps books and TV show have scared the piss right out of kids for decades. The Goosebumps movie comes out this Friday, and with that spirit in mind, today's Take My Money episode is chock full of nightmare-inspiring goodies. Viewer beware, you're in for a scare. This one is really sick and twisted. These are undead Teds, animatronic f***ed up teddy bears. Available in machete slashed, eviscerated, skull face, brain munching varieties, and more, these give a whole new meaning to the lyrics of Teddy Bear Picnic. A new batch of these guys is released every few weeks, and they sell out real fast because there's a lot of messed up people out there. Why do I kind of want one? If you're suffering from apathy of the sphincter, never fear! It's easy to scare the shit out of yourself, literally, with this horror novel toilet paper. You get three roles, each with a different story, and the stories are penned by Japanese author Koji Suzuki, creator of the Ring series. And don't worry, it's two fly. Now this next product comes in a set of three, but it's one device in particular that's perfect for playing petrifying pranks. This is the Evil Tron, and it will randomly emit disturbing noises to slowly drive unsuspecting listeners insane. Scratching, gasping, creepy children's laughter. The device is only one and a half inches in diameter, so it's easy to hide and will continue to wreak havoc for over one month on a single battery. Speaking of creepy kids, these baby head latex masks from Hyperflesh make for a very disturbing visual. Modeled by both children and adults, the heads come in one size fits all and three faces are offered, happy baby, disgusted baby, and cry baby. But let's just be honest, all of them inspire thoughts of WTF baby. Here's one that's actually owning a piece of R.L. Stein's nightmares. It's Slappy, the ventriloquist dummy who is one of the main villains in the Goosebumps series. This working dummy is sold by the ventriloquist club Throw Things, and it's 30 inches tall, fully functional, and may or may not come to life if you utter the words Karu Marie Odana Loma Maluno Corano. Those items are pretty twisted, but they are no comparison to the sheer horror that comes with today's next level item. Today's next level item is not next level because it's too expensive or unavailable. No, in fact it's free and anyone in good health over the age of 21 who signs a waiver can partake. I'm talking about visiting the McCamey Manor in San Diego, California. Self-described as an extreme haunted house, but critiqued by others for being legal torture, the four plus hour experience leaves many in hysterics, terrified and with actual scrapes and cuts. The actors can touch you and you will be covered in gross liquids when you exit. And yes, people flock to this. The only cost to enter is four cans or one bag of dog food, which will be donated to Greyhound. That and of course your sanity. So what creeps you guys out? Are you excited for the Goosebumps movie this weekend? Or should we let the works of R.L. Stein rest in peace? Let us know in the comments. As always, if you've been drooling over anything online, share it with us using hashtag EscapeTMM, and maybe, just maybe, you'll see it featured in a future episode. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and just for fun, here's that demon dog again. You're welcome.